Happening in Santa Fe, the trial for Rust Armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed. We have just wrapped up day three. Action 7 News reporter John Cardinelli joins us with what happened. Yeah, Doug, this morning the state called an FBI forensic examiner to the stand. He testified the gun and live rounds found on the movie set. His testimony and cross-examination last nearly two and a half hours. The state questioning that examiner on whether live rounds found at the movie set matched live rounds found at PDQ Arm and Prop, the supplier of blank ammo for the movie. That examiner said based on his analysis, there was no match. During cross-examination, the defense making it clear that the gun Gutierrez Reed supplied to the movie was working properly and couldn't miss fire. You indicated one of your opinions was that your first testing, you determined this gun functioned normally. That's correct. But a highlight from the afternoon was testimony from Ross Adiego, a cameraman on set. For the first time during this trial, we hear an eyewitness account of what happened the day Helena Hutchins was shot and killed when actor Alec Baldwin was rehearsing a scene. And then he drew it again and um, it went off. And, uh, you know, instantly, I mean, a, a firearm went off in a small wooden church, so the concussion, ears ringing, that moment of panic in everybody. Um, I think the first person I made eye contact with was, was Helena, who was clearly injured by whatever that gunshot was, that noise we had just heard. And coming up tonight at 10, you'll hear from more witnesses who were called to the stand today. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. We asked our legal expert about the arguments. Prosecutors say Gutierrez Reed is responsible for carelessly loading live bullets into the prop gun, but her lawyers say she's a scapegoat and an easy target who was the least powerful person on set. Here's our experts. This week is going to be the prosecution being very methodical, laying out a number of different witnesses, trying to paint a picture for the jury in a very precise and uh, uh, methodical way of what was happening on that movie set. The defense is trying to poke holes in that case. They've been trying to point out that, uh, in their view, the, so the whole production was sloppy, the whole production was low budget, and that uh, many people had access to the firearms and the, and the bullets, and who knows how the bullets got on there. So they're trying to um, essentially muddy the waters that the prosecution is uh, trying to keep clear. Gutierrez Reed is charged with involuntary manslaughter and tampering with evidence. You can stream the trial live at KOT.com or the very local app. Just look for the live alert when you open the app on your phone or smart TV.